Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to customize the app control bar on your MacBook Pro touch bar. So the touch bar currently looks like this when I launch up Safari. It's got some of the websites that Apple have pre-selected for me. Now I don't really use those websites, some of them I don't use that often. So you want to be able to customize it. And the way that you can do this is by going into Safari, clicking this little button here on the left hand side. And as you can see, some of those websites appear. If you right click them, you can actually delete them. So I'm going to delete Bing, Yahoo, Facebook. And now those should no longer appear on the app control bar, on the touch bar. Now let's say that you want to add in a couple of websites that you use frequently. I use Sound on Sound very often. If you are into music production, I strongly recommend you visit this website. It's a great one. If I hit Command D, I can add that to my favorites. Alternatively, you can come up here to bookmarks and go add bookmark, but I like that key command of command D. I'm going to rename that to SOS. I'm just going to make sure that the directory is the favorites because that corresponds with the favorites here, which also corresponds with your touch bar. I'm going to add that in. I'm also going to add in eBay while I'm here. Command D, rename that to eBay. Hit enter. AliExpress as well. Just going to rename that to Again, I can see that that's going to favorites. I'm going to add that in. You can see that those websites have now all appeared here. And to take a screenshot as well of your touch bar, because that can sometimes be handy, it's Command Shift 6 is going to take a screenshot of your touch bar. Okay, I'm going to minimize that. So this is what my touch bar looks like previously. And now after taking that screen cap, Command Shift 6, it looks a little something like this. As you can see, I've got Sound on Sound, eBay, and a couple of those other websites that I selected. And that is how you customize the touch bar on the MacBook Pro touch bar. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.